Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to perform animation chaining. Basically what that means is performing animations one after another in a sequence. So this is what we will be creating. It's beautiful right? So let's get started. I have already created a new project and downloaded a good wallpaper from Google. So I request you to download a good uh, background image which suits your application I will view iPhone as iPhone X under storyboard I will just decrease some size first add an image view which will go all the way which means full screen and I will say let's add constraints 0 0 0 and 0 and hit enter add the image and it will be aspect fill now we need a simple view which we will throw in here and let's give this constraints as well so it will be horizontally and vertically in container add two constraints and we will add fix width and height of 350 and height will be 350 also and hit enter now we need a blurred view so just say blur and Put it here uh, and one more thing the previous view which added we will select that view and change its background to clear so that we can see this view and while selecting this view click on drag on the view and say center horizontally center vertically uh, while pressing shift equal with equal height and add to and now we need to do is command option equal to so that it adapts to the size okay now while the view is selected the main view go to this part okay uh, I guess yeah no it's okay let's do uh, we will do it and view did load so I guess we are good now we need a label and I will put it here so it's good a little bit more I'll just add the constraints so it adapts automatically so this will be 25 from top 20 from left and 20 from right and a fixed height of let's say 85 and we will center the text and change the text type to let's say custom and family will be Avenir next so that is what Apple uses and bump up the size to 30 and also we uh, okay let's pick up a good color for the label so select color and select straw and select some good color from background I'll select a blue color and I'll type in the message which is welcome and now I will add a button so I will put the button here again button will be horizontally in container and it will be this was 25 from top so this will be 25 from bottom and a fix width and height of 150 no uh, yeah let's do 150 and 150 and it looks good no it's way big but it's okay and we will say continue so once again we will change the font to custom even here next and this time it will be 25 and once again select it and select background select the straw and select some good color from background as i'll select this orange or something let's do it again let's do this yeah this is good and change the text color to something good as well something from the background okay looks good and we will give it the corner radius let's give the corner radius over here so go go to this identity inspector and select plus so currently my view is selected the first view which we added and here i will say corner and radius and type will be number and this will be let's say 25 and we know that our button uh, height is 150 so we will do corner radius and this will be number and this will be 50 as well so let's run the application and see how it looks without the animation 
so it's loading okay uh, our button okay our button should have corner radius of 75 whereas our view is not showing the animation so let's do one thing we need to select this visual effect and go to attribute inspector and say clips to bound and again select the button and go to identity inspector and this time it will be 75 so that it's completely round so run the application once again and see how it looks so our uh, model view is still not uh, giving us the corner radius so what we need to do is go to view copy this thing say command c and delete it from here and under visual just paste it now we cannot paste it so corner radius and this will be a number and this will be let's say 25 and let's run again okay it looks good now so let's start animating so first of all we need some outlets so first outlet is the background color so we will say bg image for uh, our main view will be the we only need the view everything comes along so i will say main view so for uh, blood view we don't need to do that we need welcome so it will be welcome label and continue will be continue btn which is continue button not here continue continue btn okay so we are done with the like outlets part so let's hop over to view controller and start coding okay so first of all uh, this time we will be doing something different uh, we will not be using view did load so you can get rid of that and the function which we need is view did appear so that every uh, every time you show the screen the animation is performed so first i will say for uh, okay we forgot to take one outlet so we we need the main view constraint outlet so that we can animate our main view so main view selected and we need this this one so basically if you want to test it out just double click it and it will say zero just uh, type in minus 195 and it will go up so that's what we will do in our view did load so just we need the outlet i will uh, we will do it in view did up here sorry so we need the outlet of this part so i will just control drag over here under main view and say main view constraint and hit enter now we are done with the like outlet thing so okay so we are here so first under view did appear we will say super dot view did appear this basically means that anything uh, above the hierarchy will be performed so we are basically overriding this method from ui view controller so there may be some stuff under view did appear inside ui view controller so we want it to be performed first okay now we will say for i in and we will uh, okay yeah that's great bg image comma main view comma welcome label comma continue button and just open curly brackets and close them and here we will say i dot alpha is equal to zero so what we are doing is basically we are setting alpha of each of the view to zero okay we are not doing it like typing it again and again so that's a easy workaround so first of all uh, let's animate our background so ui view so if you recall from my previous videos we use ui view dot animate to animate our uh, objects so we basically use this uh, this function but this time we will be using this part basically what this means is the duration is same animation to be performed is same completion handler is something is uh, something which is performed after the animation is performed okay so basically we will be like growing a tree of animation so with duration will be one animation just hit enter and here we will first animate our background image so self dot bg image 
dot alpha is equal to one okay and one more thing we forgot to set the constant of our constraint so we will say main view constraint dot constant is equal to minus 195 and here we did that part for completion uh, this boolean will be true and here we will again say ui view dot animate and again so rather than doing this thing again inside this hierarchy this will grow uh, a deep inside okay so we can what we can do is we can create functions which call each other uh, so in a hierarchy fashion so let's do that so first i will say func and i will say animate uh, view i guess that's the second part so animate view and take this part here control x paste here and here just say animate view and for time interval for animate view uh, for the view i i like to so and here it is asking for self and animation performed to be performed will be main view and we need self as well main view dot alpha is equal to one and self dot main view constraint dot constant is equal to zero and we also need one more thing which is self dot view dot layout 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 if needed okay basically this will allow uh, constraints to be like animated or something cool here it will again be true and for this we will create one more function we will say func animate label so lbl and open brackets ui view dot animate time interval one okay not this one animate time interval will be uh, will be one for this and animation will be just hit enter and we will say self dot view uh, we need self dot welcome label dot alpha is equal to one and for this we uh, the last function will be true and this will be let's say animate button so btn and let's create this button func animate btn open brackets ui view dot animate with completion handler this will be one as well animation to be performed is self dot btn which is continue button dot alpha is equal to one and okay we don't need completion handler this time so just get rid of all this part and it will automatically adjust because okay let's do it again so ui view dot animate and this time we will select this one we don't need completion handler as this is our last animation so this will be one and enter self dot btn dot alpha is equal to one so okay this will be self dot okay so here is our animate button okay we forgot to call animate label here so self dot animate label and okay the hierarchy looks good so let's run the application once again so i guess this uh it's done this time okay we are seeing the view label and the continue button so it looks good that's how you uh like chain the animations you can play around with duration part and you can get the feeling of what you exactly want so anyways if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos